Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Jason and this is my boy DJ Criss Cross. Hey, we're here in Santa Cruz with more chats to talk about road trips and dancing. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Marble Cats, episode oh, 10. Three, two, one. Ah. Episode 10. Hey guys, what's up? This is Marble Cats. We're at Santa Cruz. Guys, introduce yourself real quick. Who is with us? Jason. You got DJ Chris Cross here. And of course, Jay Bear right here. You know Jay Bear and you know me, Rami Sungo. So we're Bachata by the Sea here. We are uh, in Santa Cruz, uh, about to attend an outdoor event, which is going to be a lot of fun. We've been here before. It's always around my birthday, so we're celebrating. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. He's what's drunk? Not yet. It's only it's only 8:50. He's it's not five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock early. early. Happy hour ride. Right? <laughs> anyway, guys, why are we here in Santa Cruz? Bachata by the sea. Bachata by the sea. And bachata by the sea. What is bachata? By the sea? Outdoor environment. We get to dance out on the beach. For those of you guys that are not aware, there's an event here in Santa Cruz that happens once a week called Salsa by the Sea. Once a month, they change it up to Bachata by the Sea, and they do this thing where it's a big outdoor area right over there. You guys can't see it when I'm pointing, but it's over that way. They have uh, speakers, they have outdoor dancing, and a lot of people show up. I'm gonna say up to like two, three hundred people. I would oh, say yeah. that, and yeah. that's just people uh, and dancing, and then people are also dancing. Yes. And then this is a free event, free event hosted by Bachata Sentimiento from the Bay Area. So thank you guys for having this event every year. It's good weather, it's sunny, it's nice. We're out here with our shoes on, it's awesome. The scenery is amazing. You have the music playing, you have the scenery in the background, and everybody's having a good time together. So we want to take advantage of today and take, talk about uh, something a little bit dear, dear to our hearts. It's called outdoor events, and they happen, there's a lot of them happen around the area. And we wanted to talk through all you guys and see, you know, what what your experiences are like. Yeah. So uh, Jason, how about you uh, start us off? What are your experiences with outdoor dance events? Uh, my experience, I like, I like being outside compared to indoors, you know, like indoors yeah. it just gets, for me, I'm always hot, so it gets hotter indoors, so the fact that I get to wear shorts and have no shoes on right now, I think it's a pretty good feeling, change the environment. Show them that we have no shoes on Oh, right yeah, now. yeah. Let's show them we have no shoes on right now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can lift my hat and my legs that high out there. I love outdoor events because the weather, well, most of the time when outdoor events are being held, the weather is going to be amazing, no matter what, because we plan it that way. But being here by the ocean, we got a nice cold breeze blowing in. Soon we got music, we'll be throwing around a football. Everything is just there in the environment. environment. So the main reason why I love coming to these outdoor events is because it attracts dancers from all over. Why? Because it's outdoors. The environment is just going to be awesome no matter what. Awesome. So let's talk about some of the best experiences you had out outdoor dancing and some of the events that you've gone to. I can list a few, for example, Bachata on the Edge, how's Sacramento, what, what? Yeah, sack down. That, that event's on hold right now, but it used to be a lot of fun. It's out dancing by the river, nice windy area, amazing view of the bridge. That was one of the biggest, biggest things that you had going for it. One of my favorite places to dance is actually at Avila Beach, which is hosted by CP Salsa at the yearly Slow Salsa Exchange. So where it all gets started, this is the season for beach time, it's awesome. Yeah. Shameless plug, if you guys haven't seen that, we have a video at Abela Beach on our pages, so make sure you go look back, yeah. check it out. Yeah. Uh, Jason, yeah, what is yeah, one yeah. of your favorite outdoor events? Uh, but snow. Snow oh. my first one. I still got the oh, sweater yeah. on for a reason, yeah. man. It gets an all-star. When did you late. get this sweater? Oh, I got this season. I had this to. Oh, so yeah, I got this. Right. It's brand new. It's fresh. It's, it's, still, it's fresh. It still feels brand new. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what makes an outdoor dance event very memorable? Um, I think it's just the people's energy, like, because we're outdoors and like I said, it's summertime, the season, everybody comes out a different vibe and everyone's just ready to go and just that beach time weather and like the behavior just comes out, everyone's just excited. Another good event, Salsa by the Lake and Bachata by the Lake at Lake Merritt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not all outdoor events are by the beach or by water, by water or by river, there's actually some stuff going on in San Francisco that I would like to be more informed about that happens in, uh, on parks and things like that. Um, you guys tell us in the comments, what are your favorite events that you got going on? What, what have you been to that we are not talking about? Tell us, we want to check it out. <laughs> so speaking of all these outdoor events, let's talk about traveling to these outdoor events. We've spoken about it before on previous episodes, the cost and how to save money traveling to an event. But let's talk about the experience of traveling to an event. 
So, uh, what, what do you guys think about talking about road trips? Road trips. I feel good about yeah. road trips. I love the group yeah. rides, you know, putting on the tunes and karaoke. That's not karaoke. Karaoke. I mean, yeah, you guys should have seen, we got a blast yeah. driving here this morning. Oh, wait, no, we didn't. These three guys were asleep. I was driving <laughs> the whole time. Well, I mean, that's what happens. You decided yeah, to have a morning. Yeah, we passed that. I woke up when he almost crashed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what happened on this road trip. That's what but, but, let me put it out of there. Whenever this man is in the car, he will always play Disney music. Yep. And he, which song does he always play? And he always has to do a karaoke scene. Which song is it? You know it. Uh, Beauty and the Beast? Beauty, Beauty and, and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. That's the way to go, you know? <laughs> All right, real quick, can you give us uh, one or two on here? Let's go. On the spot. Uh, and uh, five, six, seven, and B. Uh, Guest, be our guest, put our service to the test. <laughs> Tie your napkin by your neck. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got you, we got you, we got you. Cut! Woo! All right, so, done. <laughs> so that's what happens during his road trips. Uh, how about your road trips? My road, my road trips always continues with conversations. Whether how our weeks are going or how our day's been. We all meet up at one spot, get in the car, head out to the event. Motivate each other to get ready, pump each other up with music, and pre-game when we get there. Okay. So during during road trips, what's your favorite type of music? Music to play, right? Bachata. Okay. Why? Because we love bachata, and most of the time we're traveling to bachata events. So right. so if you're gonna go yep. here, uh, an event, nothing but bachata. Bachata on the way there too. Oh yeah. You're not get tired of that, man. I get tired of it. I'm I love, love, I love, I love bachata so much that I love pumping up the bachata music, heading to a bachata event. Same thing for salsa events. I love listening to salsa bimba. Getting yourself Mambo. in the mood. Yeah. Of it. Yeah. 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 You know, it'd be awesome if there was a, a Disney bachata song. There is. Yeah, I got my world with his world. We have, you know? I just, we I just have, got one. I spoil any type of I just got one. Oh. But DJ J Barrick just got one right now. Ooh, I want to hear yeah, about it. it. He's going to yeah. yeah. oh, well, uh, drop yeah. it soon. <laughs> so, but if you've ever been on a road trip with me and DJ J Barrick, you're on two <laughs> two spectrums. Yes, there's too many different <laughs> situations that could happen. <laughs> Actually, it's like three or four. All One right. of those. Let's just go over two. Okay, no, no. If, if Romney's driving, first of all, he's gonna be playing either reggae <laughs> or '90s punk. Mm -hmm. That's one of those two. Yes. When you're driving yeah. with me, you're listening to TV shows, movies, or audiobooks. That's how cool I am. Don't, don't forget comedy. Uh, yeah, co or oh, comedy yeah, stand-up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's dangerous because if you're watching TV as you're driving, you almost crash. I, I don't watch. <laughs> just listen. Focus. But if we're not watching or listening to something, we're doing something quiet. What you usually hear is either us talking about business or more chats or arguing about something stupid and random. Yeah. Yep. Or uh, I feel bad for the people who drive with us sometimes because we're we don't have any audio and we're not even talking either. We're it's thinking. Just silent. Yeah. Oh. And everyone's like, dude, you guys are so awkward. Like, uh, and we're Mike. like, no, we're good. <laughs> yeah, Mike Sanchez. Call you out, Mike. He loves the silence. <laughs> he loves the sound of silence. Oh, yeah. Some of the longest trips we've done for us, LA, six hours. Come on, right. Vegas, eight hours. That's a painful road trip. Mm -hmm. San Diego. So, San Diego, eight hours. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. also a long, long, painful road trip. That's a little bit more fun because it's like sea and all the stuff. It. I personally don't like the road trips. It's a long ass drive. You have to carry everything with you and it's just, it takes forever. The best part of the road trips is the destination. Getting somewhere where you're gonna have fun and enjoy yeah. what you're doing. I don't know, I like the road trips. I just chill in the back, you know, take a nap here and there, catch up with my, my phone and stuff. He, 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 phone. he sits in the back, sits quiet, on the phone, falling asleep, drinking his tea. Come on. Worst yeah. road trip partner ever. Yeah. Oh yeah, don't yeah. go alone. <laughs> only, one, only one worse than him is Mike Sanchez. <laughs> Mike oh, you're being you called out. out, dude. You're being called out. He knows. I, I, I agree with Jay Bear, but not on all of it. The part that I hate about road trips is when we're coming back. When we're coming back, oh, yeah. it's always painful, but yeah. on the way there, you'll have tons of people there with you. Two cars, three cars, maybe. On board to where we're going. LA, Vegas, San Diego, but what I like is when we have a uh, certain individual who's not experienced in the road trip. I like to interact with them and make them feel comfortable. 
a and simple question. Ask yeah, what got you into dancing? What started you into dancing? Or why are you here? All right, so that's all the time we have right now. It's getting really loud out here. The, the pier uh, rides are starting. The waves are coming. The children are dancing and it's playing. It's about that time. Stand. We're going to start playing it's some volleyball, time. have some fun before the dancing starts. Exactly. So we're going to end it right now, and we're going to let our two guests, Jason and DJ Chris Cross, ask the question of the week. All right. My question for you is, when was the last time you did a road trip, whether it's by yourself or with a group of friends? <laughs> My question is, have you ever danced on the beach? Yeah. Great questions. Make sure you guys comment and let us know what is it that you think about those two. We want to hear from you on the, on the comment section. Romy, what else you got? <laughs> That's it, folks. We done. Oh, we done. We out here. Get back here. Get back here. Spread the word. Like more bachats on Facebook and Instagram. It's all over. Videos will be posted soon. Please share. Yeah, 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 yeah,